hey guys it's Kavetta welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are checking out another market relaxing and enjoying our time that we have left in Chiang Mai come check it out with us We are done with swim lessons. Trying to head home. Jarrell is feeling hungry, so we want to grab a quick bite on our walk and then go chill. It is gonna rain like crazy. Hopefully, it stops in a little bit because normally it does. So then we can go to the um, the night bazaar, but we'll see if we'll make it out tonight. We stopped and got him some fruit. At least that's healthy after swimming. And I'm getting Milo because you know I'm unhealthy. <laughs> but yeah, the sky is crazy right now. Hopefully we can get home before it opens up or at least get somewhere we can stand under. That's the place we always eat. That's the place I got the pad thai that I talked about. So good. Yums. So I got my favorite Milo. It was 25 baht so for this size. The bigger size was 30, but that was just way too huge. I would never finish that. But so 25 baht is 60 something cents thereabout. So yeah, so still about a dollar for the, under a dollar for the big old size. Good deal. Love me some Milo. Our struggle is real. This is where we stop for a quick bite into shelter from the rain. I wanted curly fries, or wanted fries, but then the meal was cheaper. Well, not cheaper, but like 20 bucks more than just getting the fries. So he did that. I know, our struggle is real. It's a shame, but McDonald's here is so good. <laughs> so the rain went away. I guess it just did what it's supposed to do. That's one of the good things about the rain. It comes, it goes, and then you have the rest of the day to yourself. It, it makes you think that it goes away. <laughs> comes, back comes back again later so yeah we called bolt and it's on its way i am so sad that i started using this so late it is way cheaper than grab like way cheaper for everything so we just went to 7-eleven to top up or sims because they expired yesterday and i totally forgot to do it and since we're going to the market then we need to get you know we need to have internet to call a grab or bolt to come back. I had to go get it. So 7-Eleven unlimited um, internet for the month is 300 baht, which was $8 in change. That's crazy. She was giving me another package that was 100 baht, but I'm sure it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't something that I would use because I just needed it for the internet. So I probably would get like the least amount of megabyte or gigabyte or whatever so yeah we're just gonna go back wait for bolt and go check out the night bazaar okay so we just got dropped off at one spot and there's like stuff inside there I'm trying to figure out what's going on but we're just walking and looking right now there's a ton of clothes and um souvenirs and stuff and we were talking to the boat driver. She said a lot of stores aren't open yet because, you know, the Rona. So it's still just getting open again and everything. So now we're just going to walk around, try to find some food. Oh, that is so pretty. Yeah. Going to try to get some food and just check it out, just see what's going on. Oh, and then you have the Calare, Calare Center. I think she told us about this. So we could walk all the way down, but we're just going to go this side first and um, see what's happening. Wait, I was just looking to see where we were. <laughs> yep. All right. So we found a food section the first step. So we're going to get some food first and then keep walking around. Oh, you remember these? The coconut cakes? Oh, there's dumplings pork chicken vegetarian Ooh, dumplings you know we love our dumplings you guys 
So we have pork, chicken, shrimp, vegetarian. We're gonna do the five pieces of the chicken. It's 50 baht for the set. So that's a goodbye. So that was easy finding our first meal or snack. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cool. So I already see some meat thing in somebody else's plate that I want. Hopefully it's chicken or beef. So we're gonna eat these and then walk around and grab some more stuff. Going in for a bite. How do you taste the rum? We love us some dumplings, man. I need me one of these. Yeah, so you can get alcohol here. I think this is one of the first places I've seen alcohol being sold at the markets. Two sticks, meat on a stick. And I think these are all pork. I don't have any chicken. Do you want coconut water? Fresh coconut, coconut in a glass, coconut smoothie. Ice cream rolls, we can come back to that or you want that for you instead. So now we're looking for something to drink and eat again. Ooh, Indian street food. Yeah, they got everything. I need some beef ribs, I'd get some of those. Grilled seafood, barbecue sticks, ooh. And you got whole meals. He's looking at whole fish. And stuff in drawers like, oh my god. <laughs> Wow, look at that. You can get this whole fish for $200, 200 baht. And I guess they cook it for you right here. Wow. Okay, probably get one of these smoothies. We got fresh juice, juice right here. Swarika. So Jarrell got the strawberry banana smoothie and I'm getting a coconut smoothie with fresh coconut, coconut water, milk. Yeah, and he says it's good. How is it Jarrell? <laughs> So yeah, we've been walking a little bit and you have stalls like everywhere. Lots of stuff going on. You want that name brand bag? You know, the fake name brand. <laughs> you can get it. They're selling everything out here, you guys. So it's not just food. You can pick up whatever you want. So let's look up this side, Jarell. And this is another food section. 
Ooh, these pancakes I've been seeing. I need me some. Probably try some tonight. More pork spare ribs. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. I thought it was time to turn and go on the other side, but this side is still going. <laughs> I don't know how far it goes. Oh my God, this is crazy, you guys. It's amazing. And people are out, so at least that's good. It looks like it's coming back. I'm sure it's normally way busier than this, but at least it's coming back, you know? Oh, these are so cute. I want one of those. I love those pants. They keep you from the sun, the skeeters. Okay, so walking straight down that street, we're now on what's this? Anusan Market. I think that's how you pronounce it, but you saw the name. And look at this. Oh my god, like this is another entire place. Like you can go get market out. Ooh, more ice cream drill. <laughs> one scoop of 45 baht, not bad, okay. That's one of the cheapest we've seen so far because the ice cream here has been really expensive. Yep, whatever you want, you guys. You can get it down here. Not the food market. Oh man, this place is not gonna stop, huh? Could spend a couple hours here for sure. Yeah, this is massive because we're just walking and it's like a tunnel. I can't see an end in sight. And you can see where a lot of stuff is still closed. But there's tons of people out opening up. But still not a ton of tourists here. So hopefully they get back soon. I think we're at the end now. So we're going to turn around and go back because we need to go down the other way. Yeah, we still have like a big old space to go. But yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh, look at these flavors, you guys. Oh my god. So we're gonna get this. I know we haven't finished eat eating dinner yet, but we're just gonna go ahead and eat dessert first. And then we go back and get some chicken or beef sticks. And I think I wanna try the rotis. And then I think that will be our food for the night and just keep walking. Or maybe if we walk enough, we'll walk that off and want some more. <laughs> So this is what Jarell got. I'm just gonna eat some of this instead of getting a whole thing for myself. <laughs> but yeah, this is about 85 baht, so that's not bad. What was it? Cheat strawberry cheesecake and caramel. How was it? Which one did you taste? Caramel. How was it? Very good. Very good. Okay, what does the cheesecake taste like? Very good. <laughs> okay, so you you heard it here. The scoop, very good. 
So I had to go back and get me some ice cream because I tasted Jarrell's and it was so good. Oh, we can still go more. Oh my goodness, you guys. So yeah, this is the Vanilla Sky. Oh, so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna do some more walking, seeing what's out here. And then some more eating. You know, that's our life. Okay. Food is life. Mm. Little Istanbul, you guys, reminding me of Istanbul. Oh man. <laughs> so awesome. So now we're over on the other side of the road. Like you see how far, okay, you probably can't see because I keep stopping the video, of course. But we walked a good while one way and then you can go up on the other side. So it's like you have a ton of shopping to do. No, thank you. So Jerrell said he wanted he wanted chicken sticks. So we're gonna get some chicken sticks. They're over there cooking. I think I'm gonna get uh, three for him and then I wanted, I'm not sure what I want yet. I'm gonna go back and look again. But these, gyoza, uh, they look so good and crispy. Might have to get some more dumplings. Go in for your chicken stick, Jerrell. He thought I was gonna get the one with the pineapples and veggies, but I didn't know which one he wanted. And this place is getting so full, so I said we should just hold the seat. <laughs> it's hot, yeah, she cooked it for a while. So I'm gonna try these, but we'll probably, I'll probably see if I see the other ones that he wanted. And we get those two. That's the whole point of trying little things instead of getting a big old meal. So you have the, ch the chance to try a variety of stuff. But how does it taste? Tastes good. <laughs> He's like, yeah, it tastes good. Okay, so I'm eating it. The flavor is good. And it's like a sweet sauce. But there's a lot of fat. Like, all of that is just fat. And pretty much everything on this. So that that's a waste of money. I wouldn't recommend these at all. And of course, I'm sure it's going to vary by person to person. Because we've had chicken and steak before and the only ones that, that are full of fat are the beef ones that's why I hardly get those because it's just like fat city so I'm surprised the chicken they just put a bunch of fat in there to fill it disappointing legit all of that is fat like I've never seen that much fat on a chicken so like did they just take all the fat and just put it on the sticks just so they don't have to sell as much chicken that's ridiculous. And this was 20 baht a piece. Okay, so I got two beef. Those are the beef, those are pork. And then chicken is back there, so they're cooking up now. So I got three chicken, two beef, five for 100. So hopefully this is better than the last one. So I found the one Zero was talking about. <laughs> And these were five for 100 baht, so 20 each also, but look how pretty they are. So we're gonna try this and see if it's better than the last one. So. And it definitely filled up over here. So busy now, it's crazy. Just doing another walkthrough showing you how full it is now. After eight. Probably should have gotten these. Oh my god, these are 89 baht. You can get different kinds.
so I think I'm we're getting ready to go you guys but is this the night bazaar that's not open because we we're at the Clar Calare night bazaar and then there's another yeah see Calare night bazaar food center I don't know if you can see the sign all the way down there and then there's another like there's a whole couple different <laughs> kinds okay so just come in this street and just walk and you'll just find what you need so like i said yeah things are still changing opening up and all that because of the rona so it might be all different but this is basically what it is the night bazaar markets just probably everything in one at this point because there's just a ton of stuff still closed and trying to get back so yeah it was so confusing so over that side is where the night bazaar is i don't know if you can see the sign that it says night bazaar chiang mai and then we're over the side where the kalare how you pronounce that is so it's two different ones like across the street from each other but that one is pretty dead and closed so just come across the street to this one